Hey guys, a very warm welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to cover a topic which you would see that not many uh, YouTube educators or entrepreneurs would have covered. And this is extremely important for you as a founder to learn. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about today is why do many startups fail even after raising angel investment? Now, if you would have seen a, the recent episode of uh, Shark Tank in one of the recent episodes, there was this startup called Aste, which raised 10 crores of funding as angel investment and still they are failing. After raising 10 crore, they burnt all of it, most of it on marketing and they are still failing. They are back to ground zero with sales of I think less than uh, 2 lakhs a month. So that's nothing right when you raise 10 crores. And in fact, if you see in the market also, if you see different funding rounds, right? Angel round, series A, series B, series C. Maximum failure of startups is after raising angel investment. Now, logically, if you think after raising an angel investment, the chances of a startup to fail should reduce, right? Because you would have achieved product market fit. Your product would be good that's why the investor invested and on top of that you have access to capital also right so why would you fail the reasons are very interesting and just to let you all know that i have gone through the same path back in 2016 i raised uh, uh, around 50 lakhs uh, of 50 lakh rupees uh, for my startup and in about six months i burnt all of it uh, in promotional activities in marketing and referrals and the result was that our st my startup was very close to failing i pivoted at the right time turned profitable saved my startup but the lesson is that i raised a good enough amount of funding i burnt all of it without my startup uh, sort of growing in a significant manner so why do entrepreneurs do this it's not like i was dumb i created my startup i was intelligent i was able to raise funding but still i I burnt uh, such a, a good amount of funding in very short period of time without benefiting my start. So why does that happen, right? Let's dive into the reasons and the reasons are more psychological. Now, if you think from a founder's perspective, say you are a founder, you are the founder of a startup. You would have struggled a lot to bring your startup to, to, to bring your startup from idea to raising investment, right? You would have to build your product. You struggle to launch your product. You would have struggled to build a team. You would have struggled to achieve product market fit. You would have struggled to find investors to pitch to them and then finally to convince someone to invest in you so what happens is that after so much struggle when you finally raise investment and that capital that money hits your bank account in your mind you are super elated as a founder you think that now you are unstoppable you are invincible and nothing can stop you from making your startup a success and believe me this happens with all the founders out there once they raise angel investment even even if today i raise an angel investment it will still happen with me right that i think that i'll be invincible unstoppable so in this joy and this excitement and this fire what happens is that this is a deadly combination by the way when your mind thinks you are invincible uh, you want to grow very fast and you have access to capital in your bank account that's a deadly combo so what happens is that a founder tries to grow in a very short period of time and now he has capital also so he'll invest very heavily in marketing in promotional activities and referrals he will burn a lot of money without thinking much about how to turn the business profitable is the product even good to scale so fast in such a uh, short period of time and that's what happens right the Aste founders they would have thought 10 crores is a good amount now let us scale they did not think that the product is good up to a particular scale but beyond that if you are scaling you would have to upscale your product also, right? They did not think about that and so did I. I had access to funding. I did not think much about can this product still have a product market fit when it scales. I started burning a lot of funding and I was very close to failure. So I'll keep this video short, crisp. I hope you understand now why do many founders fail even after raising angel investment. That's because in your mind you are invincible and you have access to capital and that's a deadly combo. So the learning for you from this video is that keep your mind calm. Even if you have raised funding, even if you, if you have raised, I would say 50 crores of funding as an angel investment, keep your mind calm for the initial few months, right? Keep scaling slowly and keep taking the feedback from the market in terms of whether your product is good to scale very fast in a short period of time. Are your processes in place? Is your team good enough to handle pressure if your product scales? Is your technology good enough uh, handle the pressure, the load if your product scales? And after a few months, if you see that, okay, it's scaling now, it's scaling slowly and my systems can handle it, then pour money into scaling fast. That's the right method of scaling and always keep your business model and profitability in mind. That's also very important because if you burn money you can scale very fast that's important but when your money finishes and if you're not profitable that's where startups fail because now they don't have money and they're not generating profit as well 
available. So I hope you guys learned a good deal from this video. And tomorrow, if you are raising angel investment, I hope the best for you. And I hope that you don't hole into this pit uh, that I have gone through and that a lot of founders go through. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.